How's it going, everybody? Well, it's that time. We got Barney back. Uh, time for her first oil change since the rebuild. Uh, he's got a little over 1,200 miles on her right now. So we're going to go ahead and change the oil out and check everything. Uh, right now, Ethan's cleaning out the drain pan. Uh, so that way we get clean our oil from the truck going in there. Because that way we can check the oil, make sure there's no spark piece going on, and all that good stuff. But he's been happy with it so far. And uh, no issues. Um, he's done been to West Virginia and back at it. A few other places, racked up the miles real quick. Uh, overall, he's happy with it, but we're going to go through it. We're going to look underneath, make sure that nothing's leaking, and make sure everything's still tight underneath there and uh do the oil change and give it back to him so we'll see you here in a second so anyway guys before we get started on this uh from some of y'all that's watching this video for the first time uh barney is a 2006 dodge ram 1500 and it came in with uh, no oil pressure or low oil pressure and uh so we decided to tear the motor down it was gunked up the hell and back and that was the reason why there was no oil pressure and it was about ready to spin uh, number five rod bearing. So for you guys who haven't yet, go back, go watch the videos. There's like seven videos on this build and go back and watch it before you comment. Uh, that way there it's, I keep things simple. But anyway, I'm throwing out the box yet that had all the stuff from the motor. So you can see by the stuff we took out, it was pretty nasty. So anyway, we overhauled the motor. Uh, everything's new in it. Uh, new rod bearings, main bearings, rings, seals, timing chain, uh, oil pump, oil pickup tube, cam lifters. We did the MDS delete. And um, like I said, we want to get it back here around 1,200 miles to change the oil in, take a look at the oil, make sure all that looks good. But like I said, he had no complaints. So we're going to sit there, spin the foam back around, and just kind of see what's going on. You can see the green where we painted it. But basically, I'm looking around, checking the valve cover gaskets. They're all nice and dry still here in the front. I don't see anything down, you can't really see on the phone. But I get down here with my phone to the intake. It's all nice and dry. And then on the other side, as you can see, front of it's nice and dry, nothing going on there. And looks like we're good down there in the intake as well. I don't see anything on the outside of the valve cover leaking. So we'll take a trip and uh, go underneath and check underneath there. So, so it seems like everything is dry up here. So we'll go underneath here and, and check the front seal out, remain seal out, oil pan gasket, make sure all that's still dry. And then we'll get started on the oil change. So anyway, we're underneath Barney right now. Get some light. Um, as you can see, everything looks dry there. Got a little bit of paint scrape there. We're going to put the motor in. Looks like we got a little exhaust leak right there, so we're going to make sure that's all nice and tight. And then we go over here. This is the rear main area. You know, minus the old stuff that's on there, there's nothing dripping, so that looks good. Go over here on this side, and everything looks good there, no leaks. Let's go over here to the front seal. As you see there, everything's nice and dry. Everything is nice, dry around the oil filter. So, good thing is, we don't have any leak. Looks like it's got a little moisture. Yeah, it's just a little bit of paint uh, around the power steering there. 
that's just paint. But yeah, everything looks dry underneath here, so we have no leaks. That is good. All right, so now I'm going to check the oil. See how she looks on the stick. Now this oil dipstick is still got some burnt left over from the original ordeal. But anyway, let me find the stick here. Here we go. Wipe my hand on it a little bit. So oil's looking good. Not too dark, not too light. Which is going to be expected a little bit. I mean, because this motor was pretty nasty. And it took me, hang on a minute. It took me uh, six times cleaning this block out. So I'm really happy way the colored oil looks on it. And uh, we're going to keep on going. Just got to finish draining the oil out. Uh, while we were doing that, see if I can find the piece. Uh, he was having some issues with his tail light and then found out that uh, a couple of pins were missing out of this. Now these are, these things go bad all the time. Uh, he was having some left blinker issues. Um, I just happened to have another one of these uh, from some other trucks I've had and had one that was good, so I replaced it. So now he's back having blinkers again. But overall, truck's doing great. And uh, so I'm gonna spin over here. Ethan has got the oil out. It looks pretty dark right now with the lighting and everything, but I can put my finger in it. And overall, it's clear. I mean, I expected it was going to be a little bit darker on the first change. Uh, just for, for pack, there was still some, probably some stuff that was washing out of the block. But the good thing is, though, there's no uh, no shavings in it. There's a little bit of brake cleaner mixed in with this. But um, I'm happy with it. So... Successful on the Barney. Wipe my finger off so I don't get it all over my phone. But um, everything looks good. Motor running strong. Oil looks good. Um, we'll check it again here in about 3,000 miles. And um, I know they make oil out there 5,000, 10,000 miles, but I'm not one of those guys. Um, I'm one of those guys that still changes his oil every 3,000 miles. So we've got Barney on every 3,000 mile oil change regimen. And we'll keep you updated. But other than that, she's looking good. But other than that, guys, uh, we're good to go. And we're going to get things cleaned up, get the truck delivered across the street. And other than that, I'll see you down the road. <laughs>